you know, it's a rainy Saturday morning, but the guys from IBW Local 697 are out here in the elements putting up the first photovoltaic installation in Lake County, Indiana. I'm really excited today. We're, we're finally getting this array put up. Uh, it, this is a project that I started back in August. I approached uh, town manager Howard Fink about applying for a grant with me to put this system up on the roof of the town hall. And the grant was through the Indiana Offices of Energy and Defense Development. It was a, a, a matching grant that for renewable energy projects in the state of Indiana. And with all of the installation and the labor that has been donated by the union trades, we have been able to put up an incredibly large uh, solar panel system for a very small amount of money. And it's really been a model of partnership between a local municipality, the town of Merrillville, and, and the building trades unions. I'd like to Give a special thanks to the IBW Local 697 and uh, the Roofers Union Local 26 and the Sheet Metal Workers Union uh, Local 20. Uh, they've been a great part in partnering up with the town of Merrillville. The guys have been out here working diligently uh, for the past three weekends and without their dedication uh, we probably couldn't get this project done. For two weekends, we had about 15 apprentices out here installing the curbs that you see uh, that are below this system. And uh, they were out here for two weekends installing those. And then we have about five guys out here today helping uh, make sure that they're mounted uh, properly to the curb, so make sure that they stayed watertight and that there was no leaks in the roof. Yeah, this is a, a great partnership that uh, we're proud to be a part of with government uh, and uh, labor and business to put this together for Mer Town of Merrillville, the solar array. We're actually moving our training center and offices to Merrillville and uh, we decided that it would be a good uh, fit for us to have a, a relationship with the town and show them uh, what we can do with this new technology. We're going to employ it on our building uh, also with some wind power. I think for a long time uh, solar was seen as just kind of a fringe way to make energy and with a lot of new uh, thinking going on in, in the whole world about reducing our carbon emissions and so forth. I think you're seeing solar and wind uh, coming to the forefront and with the emphasis on creating our own energy within our own country rather than buying it from external sources and from foreign sources, we're creating energy security by making it right here and this is a point point of purchase, if you will, this is a distributed energy system that's being built right on the property that it's going to power. So those are the kind of systems that I think are really going to be real prevalent all over the U.S. You know, here in the town of Merrillville, we see this as an opportunity and the partnership between the town of Merrillville and the building trades unions have created a training opportunity so that we can have local contractors, local roofers, local electricians, local sheet metal folks to have the skills and the expertise needed to put these systems up throughout the region. And what we hope to see is that businesses and residents throughout Northwest Indiana and throughout Merrillville begin to install these systems to continue to promote renewable technology and to continue to promote solar uh, energy uh, throughout, uh, throughout the region. The town of Merrillville sees this as an incredibly progressive, major first step in that promotion. This is probably the wave of the future for all of us, given the cost of oil and the energy crisis world, worldwide. And there are a lot of different possibilities to produce alternate forms of energy. This is one of them, and this has a lot of things to offer. It's probably out of reach for the common homeowner at this point. But in days to come, that's going to change. This is a, a good example of where we start with cutting edge technology. Somebody's got to start off first to make an example of it. Tracy Hall uh, took the lead on this on his own initiative and set up a class to study the operation and the installation and the electrical requirements for this to make it work. We see this as the answer to many problems uh, in our country as far as environmental uh, energy problems and we want to we want to be able to um, be the ones that are installing these pro these products uh, all across the country so we uh, are going to have a lab in our new school a classroom to uh, teach the technology here that's going in with solar and wind uh, we want our contractors to be involved in this so we're going to take the lead train our people let our contractors know that we can do this work 
and hopefully they're going to bid this work and people are going to buy this and put it in their homes, businesses, because really it is going to solve a lot of problems.